Hi, I'm Steve, and it's nice to meet you. We're digging into the basics of NAS. This will be a beefy boy, lots of juicy information. If you're setting up your own NAS, there's links in the description of everything we touch on. And while you're down there, why not hit that sub button, ring that bell to be notified when we upload. What is a NAS? Well, NAS stands for Network Attached Storage Device. As the name suggests, it works as a central data storage for your business or home network. Since it's on the network, you can access the NAS from multiple devices on the same network. You can also access the files stored on your NAS remotely. You'll never have to worry about which file is on which device, it's all centralized. A NAS provides a peace of mind with its backup features and drive rates. A central point for data is cool, but why would you need a NAS? A NAS is good for data that needs to be protected and you need easy access to. One great use for NAS is a home media center. Your entire family and all devices have access to pictures, files, movies, any projects that you may be working on. NAS provides an easy way to share between devices and choose what you want to share. Have a big music collection? Have your library stored on your NAS for easy access for your entire family. Jump to the video section and watch a movie together within just a few clicks. Another common use for NAS is in a small to medium business environment, AKA SMB. All the employees can access the files they need at any time, share projects easily, and the NAS provides a fail-safe for important company documents. Be able to choose different permissions for each employee to control what folders and features they have access to. There's also the benefit of working remotely with the NAS. If something needs to get done when you're out of the office, you are still able to access the files. Whatever your dream is to use a NAS, we're gonna walk you through some of the really awesome features of the NAS device. Here we have the QNAP TS 332X, featuring three M.2 slots for SSD caching, a 10 gigabit ethernet port, two or four gigs of RAM depending on the model. Today we're rocking the four gig model. Thank you QNAP for setting us this model. To make the most of your NAS, we recommend looking at various RAID setups. Rating hard disk for data protection is one of the top reasons to get a NAS. RAID is redundant array of independent disk. Rating drives will store your data and create redundancies of your data in different ways, mirroring, striping, and parity. Most RAID types will allow a hard disk or more to fail. When rated, the data on the failed drive was either mirrored on another drive or had a parity, and the information to rebuild the drive is spread across other drives. There are quite a few different RAID types, but we'll be covering those in a video next week. RAID 5 requires a minimum of three drives, making this the perfect solution for the TS-332X. The data is striped across all drives and as well parity of all the data striped across all the drives in the event of hard disk failure. The other two drives will hold enough information that will allow the RAID 5 to be rebuilt from the data that was lost on the failed drive. So for example, if drive number two fails, you can replace it with a brand new number two drive and the data will be rebuilt like it was never missing. The RAID and NAS allows you to store files access them on the network, and if a hard drive fails, your data will still be retrievable. Just make sure to replace the failed hard drive ASAP. Like anything digital, the same vulnerabilities apply to a NAS solution. Natural disaster, user error, and system infection can still occur resulting in partial or full data loss. Make sure you're protected from digital threats and keep separate backups in the event of irreparable damages to unit or system drives. Seagate was kind enough to supply us with three of the Iron Wolf Pro 10 terabyte NAS optimized drives to populate our TS332X. Built to withstand a higher read write lifetime expectancy, as well a higher resistance to outside interference, such as the vibration caused by a multi drive environment, these drives are a powerhouse. Another important feature is the Iron Wolf Health Management System, or IHM. The software is integrated directly into QNAP's interface. The IHM will allow you to constantly check on your health of your drives and catch and fix some problems before failure of a drive occurs. IHM monitors external forces on your drive and NAS unit that could harm your drive, such as temperature, vibration, shocks, etc. IHM will suggest preventable actions. It's constantly scanning hundreds of parameters on the drive and monitoring its health. If your drive does end up failing completely, like it's gone, like it's dead, the Iron Wolf Pro 10 terabyte drives come with two years of data recovery service. In the case your hard drive does end up failing, the Iron Wolf Pro 10 terabyte drives come with two years of data recovery service. You will just send your hard drive in and they will return your data that they could recover on a new hard disk. So 
in the most worst case scenario, there's another chance they retrieve the data. If you're getting a NAS, definitely look for hard disks made for NAS units. It will provide even more peace of mind. With the TS332X, we have a clean look. The drive base hidden inside, but still accessible. This model allows you to hot swap hard disks. The drive can be replaced while the QNAP is still running to ensure continuous operation. For the first time setup though, we don't need to worry about it being on. Voila! The hard drive is now set up and ready to be accessed by another computer on your network. First time setup for your NAS is pretty straightforward. The browser-based OS makes it easy to get through all the steps required. But first thing to do is download the QFinder app. It will allow you to see all the QNAP NAS you have on your network and save you the time of having to type in the IP address and bam, you can start with your setup. From there, browser-based will walk through all the next steps. Once you get to the browser-based OS, you need to create a storage pool. We're using RAID 5. We have three 10 terabyte hard disks installed. Since RAID needs to allocate space for the parity, redundancy, and space for the snapshot, in the end, we have a total storage space of about 18 terabytes. Let's create these drives. They are brand new, so we don't need to worry about information on the drives being formatted. But if you're taking drives from another NAS or a used drive, be mindful, creating RAID will erase the drive. Next, it has to set up volumes. This will allow us to start storing files. We're choosing thick volume to allocate space for the snapshots. Now we choose how to allocate the space for the volumes. This is when you'll decide if you want to treat your RAID as multiple volumes or you just want one big volume. Like, let's say you want each family member to have their own space on an S. Each family member gets five terabytes and a five terabyte shared volume and some safe space for snapshots or one big 15 terabyte volume and everyone will use it. In an SMB, you'll have different departments and each department gets their own volume, etc. However, to complete the formatting, the drives and to synchronize the RAID, it will take about 14 hours or more. Now it's the next day. Everything is done and created. Let's take a look at the App Store. We've got some apps downloaded to show you how the NAS can work as a multimedia server. We got the photo station, music station, video station, and download station. These apps will allow you to organize your media. In the control panel, you specify which folders to search for media in, and all your media is already organized in the multimedia apps. Aside from the easy layout of the apps, they also have thumbnails, visible and metadata searchable, so you can easily find what you're looking for. All media apps allow you to share via a special share link, so friends and family can have access to your collection. You'll also be able to stream to connected devices like a Chromecast or Bluetooth for music. Now, we're gonna show you how to use it as a private cloud or my QNAP cloud. You won't have to rely on Google Drive, Dropbox, or paid cloud services. This also means all your private information is stored locally without relying on a third party. This will allow you to use any of your devices connecting the internet to access the NAS. You can log with myqnapcloud.com for access. There are also lots of apps on iOS and Android to help access your files remotely. You can give a name to your Turbo NAS that will allow you to have a unique URL and avoid the hassle of a DDNS service. With MyQNAP Cloud, you give access to different people and they all have their own login and different permissions. This allows easy access to you and your whole family remotely. You can also create special share links so you can share a specific album to a friend or coworker. NetBack is an easy way to create backups of your files or entire PC. If anything ever goes wrong on a PC, like a hardware failure, important file corrupts, or a virus, your files are safely backed up on your NAS. With a click of a button, you can restore files to their backup state. You can schedule automatic backups from your home PCs and have peace of mind that all current projects are backed up constantly and are safe. For external drives, there's one type of USB copy on the front of the NAS. You can enable it in the backup station and it allows you to plug in an external drive. Press the button on the front and bam! Running USB one touch copy. You can set audio alarms so the NAS unit lets you know when it's finished copying. You won't even have to open up your device interface. And for NAS backup, remember how we mentioned that you must back up important files on separate drives disconnected from the network to ensure proper backup and security of your files? The QNAP makes that it's easy to plug in an external drive. A wizard will pop up and you can select. 
what folder you want to back up, set a schedule, and auto ejecting your drive once it's done backing up. The TS332X NAS also supports backup to remote server, NAS, or FTP, file transfer protocol server. Also, two-way sync using real remote replication and allows you to use FTP to back up to popular cause services. With so many ways to ensure your data is backed up, you can sleep easy. Backing up to an external device is one thing, but what about a backup plan stored within a NAS itself? We mentioned allocating space on our hard disk for LUN and Snapshot. Snapshot creates an image of your current files and allows you to create multiple snapshots to revert back to old snapshots in case something really goes wrong. Did you permanently delete a folder that had an important file in it? You can restore that folder or a specific file using a snapshot. Accidentally saved over a project you're working on and need to revert back to an older save? Bam! You can use a previous snapshot to restore it. It's just that simple to use. Just create a schedule based on your needs, doing some testing, Set the NAS to snapshot every few minutes. You can choose how long to keep a snapshot, how often to take a snapshot. Enabling Smart Snapshot allows you to save space. The new snapshots will only contain the files that have changed since the previous snapshot. The combination of neckback and snapshot, you could potentially save your files from a ransomware attack. Snapshot saves outside of the volume you created, so it could be safe from ransomware. You should still disconnect all computers on network to prevent it from spreading if you suspect you got infected. For advanced users, the NAS is capable of block-based LUN snapshots to work in an ISCSI environment. Okay, your data is protected with snapshots. You set up the NAS. Now you're feeling some bottleneck. With speed, add some M.2 speed. The TS332X has space for three M.2s. The addition of an M.2 will allow you to take advantage of SSD caching. It will temporarily store your data on the faster M.2 until it either fills up or has the resources to complete the data right onto slower hard disks. Next, we have auto tiering that takes advantage of the M.2 in a smart way. You will automatically move the most active data on the fast M.2 and less used data on the hard disk. This allows for speedy workflow. Speaking of speed, the TS332X has a 10 gigabit ethernet port. Most homes and small businesses use one gigabit internet, and it's enough for everyday tasks. But if you're a small to medium business, you may have access to 10 gigabyte network setup already. This nest will fit right into the environment and deliver super fast speeds. Having 10 GBE is vital for a business with high demand of bandwidth and need for fast backup for mass amounts of data. And to tie it all up, the many possibilities and additions that a NAS can add to your life, it can also work as your centralized surveillance center. If it's your home, the QVR Pro software will support budget-friendly cameras and USB cameras to use as your surveillance. The extensive capabilities of the QVR Pro software makes it ideal for small business surveillance. It supports fisheye cameras. You can simultaneously view multiple angles to see entire rooms. It gives you live view and instant playback. You can dedicate storage for surveillance and you can easily add an expansion enclosure to your NAS to work as your surveillance storage. NAS can be a viable and useful tool for at home personal use all the way up to SMB and act as a useful IT accessory. The TS332X goes for $599.99 Canadian at your local Memory Express and the Iron Wolf 10TB Pro hard drives are $549.99 Canadian each. This brings the total cost of our setup here to $22.49.96 Canadian. Thank you for watching. I hope this video piqued your interest about network attack storage. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification when we upload. Stay tuned for our rate explanation video in the coming weeks. I'm Steve from Memory Express. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You guys know where to find us online. Facebook and Twitter are the same at Memory Express. Instagram, official Memory Express. Again, we want to thank Logitech for the great prizes for the month of January. We give away a lot of cool loot. We'll be announcing the winner in our next video. I'll see you 